Hi, my name is Serena Swanson. I am an artist from Roseburg, Oregon, and I am one of the jurors for the current exhibition, A Watched Pot Always Boils. The show is an acknowledgement of what should have happened in the past. When the 19th Amendment was initially passed and not only completely disregarded the voices of black women, but also several other women of color, queer and disabled folks. So this show is essentially taking advantage of the centennial of the 19th Amendment to create an opportunity for the celebration of intersectionality and giving spaces for artists to speak and present themselves honestly. Hello, my name is Jaden Dukes, and I help jury the show A Watched Pot Always Boils. The show came from a place of feeling like it was our responsibility to open the floor and have space for voices that have historically been um, silenced and not heard as equally as other groups of people. So the show is about giving space to artists who are having conversations about what it means to be black, person of color, fat, disabled, queer, and so on. Okay, I'm Dick Worthy, and I'm a wood artist in Roseburg, Oregon, and I currently have a show in the Red Gallery at the Umpqua Valley Arts Association at the Art Center, and uh, my work is uh, various types of wood turning and other types of uh, woodwork. I've basically been a woodworker all of my life, and I've been a creative woodworker for about the last 30 years. Dick Worthy shares the Red Door Gallery in a show titled Wood, Water, and Oils with artists Debbie Bates and Andrew Duclos. In this exhibit, you will see watercolors, oil paintings, and woodworks expressed through the creative and masterful hands of three local artists, Bates, Duclos, and Worthy, transform raw materials into incredible works of art that celebrate place, community, and resonate with the natural world. Hi, I'm Stella Moon, the Arts Education Coordinator at Umco Valley Arts. And this exhibit in our student gallery features the work that students made during our most recent teen studio classes. One of the showcase classes is fabric dyeing, during which students learned about different dyeing techniques, including ice dyeing, shibori, and batik. And the other featured class is experimental comics with paper. And our teens did their own illustrations and made characters to create their own scenes and then photographed them to turn them into comics and stories. Hi, my name is Amanda Walters. I'm the office associate here at Umco Valley Arts. Gallery 2 is now featuring UVA's permanent collection of typewriter art by Paul Smith. He is known worldwide as the typewriter artist. Paul Smith's story spans eight decades, seven in which he created typewriter art. Paul Smith was a resident of Rose Haven in Roseburg and was loved by so many. UVA proudly holds nearly 200 of Paul Smith's artworks in our permanent collection. Hello, and thank you for joining us. My name is Sarah Holborough. I'm the Community Outreach Director at Umpqua Valley Arts. UVA is proud to present Postcards for a Beautiful World. As we emerge from a very challenging year, let the dreams of your friends and neighbors in Douglas County captivate you through their postcard messages to the world. This exhibit will feature all media in postcard size artwork by community artists of all ages. 
that relay messages of hope and renewal for this new year.